So how's it going guys? So we have a guest from St. Vincent. Okay, so we're gonna go to a bullet point because there's a long laundry list of problems. So the abbreviated version, so basically you notice, uh, she noticed she's been having hip problems since six years old as a child. Uh, been having wet in the bed, uh, low back pains, and especially when she swims, trying to do the breaststroke, she has a lot of problem kicking out the right leg. Pro uh, a lot of difficulty and back pain with uh, carrying the, the book backpack that is. Okay. Uh, you also notice pains in this region over here, the mid back, the rib pains, front chest pains. You have a lot of problems with walking long distance. So anything pretty much that where it involves with exertion tires you out immensely. All right, so far, right? As if you just ran a marathon, even yes. though you just walked just a couple of feet away. Yes. Right. And even carrying like just six pounds of weight, mm -hmm. it felt like as if you're carrying a hundred pounds and it just wipes you out for. Yes for weeks or months, right? Uh, other component, uh, they've also been trying to try to conceive since uh, 2007, right? So for the past 11 years, I should know more, right? 11 yes. years, right? So past 11 years, no mis not even a miscarriage, nothing. Just completely, just can't, uh, can't conceive whatsoever. Uh, lab test shows everything was completely fine. Am I right? Yes. Okay. Same thing with the husband as well, no problems on his end as well, right? And then two years ago, she started experiencing both ears starting to fill up with ears for four hours during the day. It lasts for a couple weeks. And she also experienced like as if she was on a cruise ship, like a little swaying effect as such, right? Uh, hypersensitivity to cold, uh, sporadic numbness going down the arms, hands, especially down the left arm itself, and numbness and pain down the right front thigh, right? So now we all set right a muffle right there. Let's go ahead, let's connect all the dots. All right, so we're doing this instrumentation right now. Looking for, is there any abnormal temperature? And we found a candidate right down here. Reading over there. Okay. Slight little reading to the left. And we have one point to the right. Now on a petite patient such as this, the reason why we had them standing up is because it'll have the swelling and edema much more prominent. So when we take a look over here, there's a lot of pooling down below over here. I don't see it nice and smooth, but everything's pulling down here as well. Another thing we're also seeing on the spine over here is there should be some kind of arc, right? As in there's a little arc over here and another, you know, depression going down here, but no. It looks like we can see over here, it's very, very straight. From the bottom all straight upwards. So we're gonna take a closer look, see what's going on in her spine over here. A little tender over here, right? Yes. You feel the difference over here? Yes. On your left hip, this left hip over here, it's not moving too well. Your right hip, mm -hmm. it moves very well. Yes. The left sacrum, it's stuck. Iliums are moving fine. So it's the sacrum over here that's also impacted as well. So yes, all of this. Yes, it's completely done. Yeah, all this is rigid. Everything is stiff. And it'll sort of loosen up here again. And then rigid again. We check the neck itself. Everything's moving except until we get to this third cervical over here. Tilt your head to the left, to the right. Feel that difference right there? Yes. I can move your head a lot more to the left. Mm -hmm. It's stuck as a rock on the right side. And I palpate it, checking for any swelling, and yes, there is. There's a prominent swelling on the right side. 
So that feels like a big muscle knot on this yes. side. Mm -hmm. Check the atlas itself. Feel this difference over here? I can tilt your head to the left. Mm -hmm. Not too much on the right side. Mm -hmm. Okay, But it's not fully stuck. So that tells me that's compensation over there. Okay. So when we tested your fifth lumbar, you mentioned, yeah, you got a lot of pain. Right? So we need to address this one first. But your ritual problem is actually your sacrum itself. Why? Because when I hear about your childhood, you said about, oh, yeah, frequent urination. You also have low back pain. You fell on your butt. And your problems, walking, you have a different gait, what people yes. have noticed. And when you do a breaststroke, you have difficulty kicking out your right leg. Yes. Right? So that's a pelvis issue. Mm -hmm. And even up to adulthood, you mentioned, you've been trying for the past 11 years, trying to get pregnant. And you don't even, not even a miscarriage. That's typically a sacral problem. But somehow along the line, you accumulate this additional trauma on top of that. So this got knocked out afterwards. So when we correct this one over here, eventually we need to address this one. Now because you have compound double whammy with the foundation, it causes a domino effect going straight upwards. That's when you start to experience the pain on the ribs over here. And then because the way your body twists it, so you there's a curve over here, there's a curve over here. So we have two major curves. So at the, at the other end over here, that's where you feel chest pain over here. What we also see in the x-ray, I know it's a little hard to see for the viewers, this is stomach gas. So you have a megablast over here. We see a little more clearly over here. What I want to point out is this. See this over here? Yes. It looks like one huge big air bubble. Mm -hmm. This valve over here, we have two valves, one on top, one on bottom. This bottom one is not closed. We see it, it's wide open over here okay. because all the gas is over here. Same deal over here as well. Okay. This one is from here, the sixth dorsal. This one we tested on you. Okay. Yes. This one probably needs to correct it in a future date, but not today. So this one, when we correct this, we'll restore the nerve function for this valve. Other component I also see, this third cervical over here, that's the other tail end of this curve over here. We need to address that to restore the function for your trigeminal nerve. Okay. And that also help untwist your atlas. Yes. Your atlas bone over here, See these two shadows over here? Mm -hmm. I want to have it equal. They're not. See, it's thin over here, wide over here. That tells me your atlas over here, it's significantly rotated towards this way. So I want to be surprised why, yeah, that left side, it's being pinched off more. And you felt the symptoms a lot more on your left side versus your right. Mm -hmm. So this actually compensation. That third cervical, six, the fifth, and the sacrum, these are the fellows we need to address on you over the oncoming 10 days. The strategy with this case over here is this. Because she, we have two issues going on, the fifth lumbar and the sacrum, we cannot address the original problem first. Why? Because this fifth lumbar is already backwards. It's posterior. If I corrected this sacrum first, it would make this bone even more posterior, make her a lot more uncomfortable, and she won't like it. So we need to address the fifth lumbar first, and then the sacrum in a future visit. Feel this over here? Okay, so this area over here, it's actually a little more springier, but this is rigid. So we did restore the biomechanics just for this low area over here alone. Okay, just this lowest part of the lumbar. But everything else, slight little improvement. Very slight, and that's okay. Because we're gonna have you come back later tonight and see if that sacrum is ready for correction. Okay, so when we tested this fifth lumbar over here, this is now moving, okay? And I said it's still tender a bit, and soreness, that's fine. The sacrum over here is now ready to be corrected. It's still fixated. I think I walk a little bit easier. A little easier? Mm -hmm. Yes. So we do a high low correction correcting the fourth lumbar prone. Why? Because this is one of the most deepest, most effective ways to correct this other than the chest table. However, because she's petite, right? That's why we're not gonna do it on the chest table. This is more ideal table for her. So 
toss everywhere right now. I don't feel it. I mean, I mean, it's a little still stick out. Mm -hmm. right? A little bit sticks out. This side, the right side, is so flat. If I put my hand there, this side is a little bit. It sticks out. But not what as as same as before or a little bit less. I think it's a little bit less. Yes. Good. So, after several days of corrections, dealing with our neck in the cervical chair, we're now advancing to the high-low table. Why? Because doing it in a prone position, we get a much more deeper correction itself. mentioned that it starts to feel like a little mm -hmm. fluid in the ears. How's it now? It's good. Good? It's, I don't feel it now. Okay. Great. Thank you. This is your final visit over here, the final update. So, fill us in. How are things so far? Well, I do feel better, mm -hmm. but it was a short visit. So, I'm actually looking forward to see what will improve when I get back home. Mm -hmm. But yes, I, I mean, obviously, I, I found a lot of things much better, like energy-wise, what we discussed, and um, mm -hmm carrying heavy load and okay. sleep good and all that so that's great. everything i mean i i can't complain everything looking uh, good mm -hmm. but i'm also looking forward what what else will improve because i really had a lot of symptoms during mm -hmm. the last couple of years mm -hmm. so i'm looking forward to test those little things at home out what bothered me and then i will get back to you and i'm looking forward to see you soon likewise hope to see you in the future okay I see a trip and back thank home. Thank you. Thank you for everything, Doctor. You're very welcome. Thank you. <laughs>